Hello, everybody. Good evening. Dr. Incompetent here, getting ready to make some magic happen in the aptly named Might Magic 3. So, bringing the ninjas back for an adventure into the magic cavern here. So let's dive in, see what evil awaits us. Okay, it's a Optimus Prime head with a flat top. Not what I was expecting. It's a guardian. Okay, he gives me 10 gems. I will take it. We've got purple flames. Magic liquid flows in this cavern's pools. I bet it does. Um, Alright, so there's flames that way flames over here. Let's bring out these guardians and just have at them. Our bows don't do much, but our gigantic biceps coupled with obsidian weapons certainly do. Alright, so let's save the crap out of the game before we touch one of these things. Sorcerer's runes have been cut into the gem. Step closer. Yeah, I figured... It's called the Magic Cavern, so this place is probably going to suck for me, uh, given that, you know, I can't use magic. Um, let's take a look at how much damage this does. So, Twinkle's at 566. Oh, you know what? Maybe it doesn't do any damage. It's just when you walk on that, it cancels all spells on you. I mean, what time is it? Yeah, it certainly wasn't time for my torch to go out there. Okay, so this is all an artifact of those purple flames. And on the one hand, it's good that they didn't do damage. But on the other hand, uh, it's pretty junky that it took out my torch. Considering, you know, I can't see. Uh, and I can't cast light. Okay, so let's... Um, move up. Oh, there's a guardian waiting for me. I guess I'm going to use the item of Wizard Eye just to look around. I mean, you know, it seems pretty reasonable that I'd want to be able to see around me. Uh, so let's try to find wherever that Wizard Eye... There it is. It's the old box, Wizard Eyes. That's one hell of a box. You open it up, and there's Wizard Eyes inside. All right, anyway. Um, we're going to just travel around using the upper right corner as our map and just try to see what this place holds for us. Oop, must have been some more purple flames because my, um, wizard eye has been annihilated. Oops, I'm sorry. Here we go. We're going to use the old box again. Maybe I'm standing in flames. Oh. No, they went back on. Huh. Alright, well. Sorcerer's runes. It's a spell. Okay, well. Hello. So these, like, guardians must be casting fantastic freeze on me. That's kind of what it looks like. And it's hurting me, but not horribly. I guess the upside, and let's go silver lining on this, the upside of the fact that they have turned out the lights on me is that I can just rest willy-nilly and not have to worry about wasting a torch. So there is that, right? Okay, so um, I think what I want to do here is just continue trolling around and exploring and, you know. Oh, there, go there goes my box again. All right, buddy, we're gonna have to use this item again. Let's just hope there's some nice treasures in here somewhere. I believe I looked at the, uh, and this is an optional cavern, so there's really no necessary point for me to be in here, 
except for the fact that um, I'm praying that there's some kind of stat increases, some kind of wild treasure. I think there might even be ultimate power orbs in here. I believe I looked and you can get a total of 31 ultimate power orbs in here. Um, so that's a quite a bit of experience that you can just round up through power orbs. So let's try to get them all, shall we? This is going to be a bit tedious, but I can also just navigate this way by using the map when I need to. Oh, guardian. Oh, no, sorcerer, okay. You know what I'll do? Just to be really, really even more on top of things than normal. I'm going to jump over into the clue book and just look for the magic cavern map. Here it is, okay. And just kind of uh, use this to my extreme advantage. Well, all these things do. <sighs> I'm looking at the rewards that this place holds. Sorry about that. And just kind of being underwhelmed. If this place is immense if you are a spellcaster. There are... Um, delightful... Whoa, 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 Items that give you spells and make you have better intelligence and better at casting spells, all of which I'll never be able to do. Um, no, he won't. I'm going to save it before I disturb this tomb. I think there, there might be something inside. Yep. And it's a lich. Wow. That guy wasted no time and just insta-killing me. Um, okay. Hmm. I don't even know if I got anything, did I? Ten thousand gold and a dead lich, but I mean, I'm not getting any treasure. Shouldn't I get treasure? You know, wouldn't that be appropriate? Hmm. Hmm. I'll tell you what. I'm going to load the game. Bring up the old fabulous dream times. I'm just going to load it before I open those chests with uh, liches inside because they're not giving me any treasure that I can see. And this place is really annoying for me. I can't use a torch because it's going to get put out by the purple flames. Now, that would be no problem if I could cast the light spell or something like that. Uh, ooh, let's check out what these pools do, actually. Uh, understanding and wisdom. Yeah, so you get some intelligence, which, again, I don't care about. Just a room full of... Uh... All right, let's... Before we step into the old emerald... Waters here. Let me save it. I bet this is just going to, like, increase my magic points or something, you know, underwhelming for me. Oh, quickening. All right, well, I was poo-pooing all over this place, and potentially that was the right thing to do. But quickening is actually good. I'll take quickening all day long. So... Anything that gives me a chance to act first in combat and preemptively destroy the people like, oh, I don't know, those liches who are going to just do some kind of party-wide, like, finger of death spell uh, and annihilate us, if I can prevent that, I will. No, I'm not going to go back in the same Emerald Well. I haven't... This isn't my first Emerald Well rodeo, you know, um... Hmm. 
Uh-oh. Uh-oh, sorcerers. Lots of them. Wow. They really cast that spell. Putting a freeze on me. Azure liquid. Understanding and wisdom. Okay, let me just reference, do a little fancy cross-referencing, um, and compare my map to their map. And just kind of see where in God's name I am on this map. Looks like I'm in this upper corner here. Okay. Yeah, I see exactly where I am. So I'm going to then rest and... just map out this eh. sorcerer's runes starburst I think that's the most expensive spell in the game so that's a nice discovery for a different group than mine alright and that is this area mapped out okay and so in with that I'm gonna just retrace my steps and try to get out of here. I got a quickening thing, which is decent, but I needed to step in here uh, just to see what this was all about. And this is all about not being a good fit for my party. But that's not really surprising. I should have just been... Um... Oh, here's another... Is this a new emerald well? Wait a minute now. Where'd that emerald well go? Didn't I just see one? Yeah. Oh, Azure. Well. You've been magically drained. Well, that's fantastic. That's what I was looking for. A little magical draining. We had an excess... Uh... Isn't this... Shouldn't this open? Am I not looking at the map correctly? Uh... Hmm. Well. Shame on me, I guess. I think there's something back here, and the map isn't revealing it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here, and I'm going to pick up an item, and I'm going to use... Yeah, this will just be good. I never use my flail of etherealization. Oh boy, let's try to say this again. Etherealization. Yeah, that put me through. Okay, so. Emerald well. Uh, let's quicken our people up. So we got another quickening, which is joyous cause for celebration. Is this the same well? I need to look at the map. Yeah, it is. Alright, I don't want to step back in there again and get wrecked, get magically drained or some other completely unacceptable outcome. Magic symbols. Teleport scroll. Well, wow, wouldn't that be lovely at this point? All right, there's one little extra alcove here that we need to explore, and that baby is right. We go one, two, and up here, and we just bash through, and we turn the corner. Oh, super shelter. God, look at all this. This is like a just a place full of unbelievably good spells. It breaks the heart. It really does. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. All right, let's move up here. So we're just going to kind of keep following our footsteps and trying to get out of here because um, I'm not pleased with this place. I think the best way to go would be to just take 
a walk over here. Bash through. Magic symbols. Yeah, great. Okay, time distortion. Eh, not exactly what I was looking for. Um, what is this? Where I just have managed to... Mm, I'm kind of misplacing myself on the map here. Understanding and wisdom. We're getting smarter every day. Now, if there is an off chance that gaining some intelligence actually insulates me from certain spells and abilities, well, then this might be worth it. I don't think that's the case. But anyway, let's venture back the way we came and get the hell out of here. I've seen enough. I've seen enough to last me a lifetime. Sure. Well, that was cool. I just got another quickening thing. I'll take that. Sure. Sure. Speed me up. Actually, if I'm looking at the map... Kind of like, how in the hell did I even get in here? I'm in that mode at this moment. Well, I know for one thing that it can't be this way, right? Because, you know, I haven't mapped this out. It seems logical, but if there's some kind of nightmare that has to do with those purple flames that they were teleporting me in some capacity... We're going to be here for some time. I could use Mr. Wizard if it gets grim, but it's not that grim. Oh, these are the liches that you want. You know, you can fight if you uh, so wish. I wonder if there's some benefit to killing them. Special tomb. Okay. So there's supposed to be something in the tomb that's marked with the fighting wizards. You know, as there always is. But I'm betting it's some kind of magical, you know, delight that I don't need. Oh boy. So. Sure. Mega Volts. That's a hell of a spell. Alright. Nope. Okay. Well. Let's go. Let's get out. And not being able to see really punches up the fun. Tell you that. Um, oh, I think this is the way out, actually. Let's just get the hell out of here. Please be the way out. Is it right here? Yes. Oh my god, the sunlight. Well, it is nighttime, but just the ability to see is so fantastic that I'm overcome with emotion. Too dangerous to rest here. What with all these barbarians? Makes sense. That's not really that dangerous, is it? Some splint mail. Well, well, I can't hit these guys. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Vulture rock. Hmm. Oh well. First of all. Let's, I don't know, take off. Ooh, splint mail of the gods! I think that that, I mean, I think that that suffix gives you like plus 50 to every stat or resistance or something insane. But I can't remember exactly. Anyway. Thank you. 
One second, please. Okay, so I'll swing with my man. Not being able to hit these guys is very, very bizarre. Charm shield. That's cool. Does anybody have anything that we can use? Okay, we're going to need to just dig into these guys' stuff for some kind of something that can hurt them. Do we have anything else that might... Well, we have a Mace of Starburst, which is quite fantastic. I don't know if we can use a Mace, though, is the central issue. So... Let me just first remove this and equip this, and then you do the proper thing of pushing you when it's his turn and use this to hit them hard. Let's see if you can, Fat Shadow, use a mace. You can. Great. All right, so then we'll push use, and we'll go to this and use it. You know, that... Starburst Mace might be something that I need to use all my recharging on it and just keep it around forever. I mean, what kind of enemies are these? I'm doing the largest explosions possible, and they're not even red. These are quite stout things. Can I hurt you? Is that going to be possible? You think maybe we could work that in? Me injuring you? Finally. Jeez. I was just like second guessing if we were even... Touching these guys. Now, the one thing I will say, ah, my mace. All right, well, then let's just use my disintegration. Mm, that didn't do very much. These guys are like, what? Disintegration? It doesn't, doesn't phase me. Ah, that phased him. All right, I need to go into your inventory and. We've lost everything. So the Mace of Starburst and that have all gone straight to HE double hockey sticks. But I just have to accept that. Glowing Wand of Distortion. Fortunately, I don't think Distortion actually does damage. It moves you or it does something tactical. Oh, okay, we're dead. Well, if I've learned anything, it's number one. I should have saved my game as soon as I got out of here, but I was so supremely confident in the surrounding area that I didn't think it was necessary. <laughs> that was dumb. Also, we've learned a valuable lesson, which is never fight vulture rocks. I mean, I I'm at this point in the game where nothing is really presenting much of a challenge for me outside and yet those guys wrecked me. So, I'm going to save it this time and I'm going to you know, see, I'm just like one I can one shot those guys, but then you know, maybe I can take one vulture rock and just see what this is all about. The key also is to recharge my item. So let me go into your bag and pull this out, give it to this guy. Uh, I'm going to actually take this with you, and then you have the... Starburst, we'll give it back to Fat Shadow, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, 
let me uh, remove this and equip this and use this on your... Oh, we can't because you have, you're full up. Isn't that hilarious? Um, no, nah, never mind. Um, inventory. What a shame, what a shame. What do I want to throw off? Oh, this amber brooch is no good. We don't need that. All right, anyway. Let's go into your inventory then. And remove this and equip this and use this. And then we're going to go into your inventory. And we're going to just say, hello, everybody. How are you? We're doing well. Thank you so much. We're going to remove this, equip this, equip this, and use this. Oh, of course, of course. That would have been too easy, right? Uh, okay. Now we're going to use it. Nine. Use this on F6. Eight. Duplicate item too powerful. Spell failed. Hmm. Just a regular mace, too. Maybe the Starburst brand is just too sensual for everyone else. I suppose it is. It's a very desirable thing. Okay. Fine. Fine, fine. Let's then use it again. Death Locust, get out of here. Now that's something we can kill. Alright, let's try to duplicate something else. Let's duplicate uh, this fireball armor. Great, so we could get some more fireball armor at the very least. And fireball is no joke, so... It's just Starburst is, I think it's the ultimate spell, or one of. Poof. Vulture Rock knew where his damage was coming from. All right, let's get into his stuff and take out this new. Oh, your backpack's full, you. Your backpack's full? All right, let's just discard this, discard this. What are you carrying? Whoa, 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 okay. See, the treasure that these rocks... No wonder they're so hard. The treasure that they guard is insane. An obsidian necklace and the scimitar of the gods? These are just outrageous items. So they are worth engaging. Um, I need to just give this to somebody else. And then give this to you. Alright, anyway. Let's attack. Hey, you hit really well. Maybe it's just that they're hard to hit. You would think that a big, fat, two-headed bird wouldn't be too hard to hit, but hey. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate. That, um... What? I only have one charge? Oh boy, that's sad. That is sad. Um, hmm. Well, I guess I don't want to duplicate anything. Got him. We actually killed one. Well, that's a delight. So let's go find the, uh, we'll, we'll save the game immediately, first of all. And then we're gonna rest. <laughs> Too dangerous to rest here. Yeah, let's get out of here. Maybe someday you'll get your wish. How charming is that? All right, there's a well somewhere that I can drink from. That'll teleport me back to Wildebar area. And here we are. So, let's get back in. And go to the wheel bar, shall we? Yeah, yeah.
Okay, so what I'm going to do is immediately head over to my buddies at the temple and take care of just, you know, all of what ails me. I'm also going to just donate up while I'm here, you know, just spend some cash. I'm going to check everybody's age really quickly because I'm thinking about doing something tremendously foolish. Might not be necessary. All right. But let me um let me look at my age. So I'm I've been increased from 26 to 56. That actually sucks. My stats are starting to drop. So I need to find the fountain of youth. Um, so let me look in my little handy book and find the fountain of youth. Um, uh, it's not in the clue book. How can that even be possible? Um, let me check here then. Oh, you have to raise the Isle of Youth. Okay. Um. Well, let's look at let's look for the Isle of Youth. There's only one location. Come on now, come on now, person. Somebody help me. Can you help me get young? Okay, they're not gonna help me. So I'll have to look for that on another occasion. But that really just eliminates me from doing what I was gonna do, which is just go work a bunch, age myself, and get money to level up. But really, I don't even know if that's my issue. So let's go into my inventory then and just check out my stuff. Obsidian charm is great. So we have to look at who's got the worst armor class. Um, yeah, your armor needs repairing. Okay, so let's go to the old shopper and just talk to them about fixing up our stuff, shall we? Can you fix my stuff, my friend? Of course I can. I'm gonna identify this scimitar. Oh, its special power is divine intervention. That's what it does. That's a heck of a spell, I believe. Let's just repair it all and fine, fine, fine. Okay. Um, let me look and see what everybody's doing in the world of necklaces. The steel necklace is what? Plus four? Okay, and then we have this obsidian necklace. So, might as well just, uh sell your steel necklace and just give you the obsidian necklace. Then we've got another obsidian item, this obsidian charm, and everybody can wear that. So what I'm going to do is just push up the quick reference and see who has the worst armor class, and right now it is Fat Shadow. So I'm going to go in here. Uh, his inventory is really, really congested. I'll just equip it with you. You win the contest. Okay, and then what does that do for you? Well, it puts your armor class into obscene insane heights and that's great okay so what i'm going to do is go to the town portal and i'm going to use it and go to swamp town oh, oh. 
This isn't the right way. What have I done? I'm ruined. Um. Right. Right, 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 right. Oh boy. Oh boy. Here we go. Alright, let's go to Doomed. Let's go to Swamp Town. And in Swamp Town, we can make magic happen. We need to go to the maze from hell. Sounds great, because it is great. Mm. Mm. Now I'm a little presumptuous, a little over my skis. I need to make a annoying ninja-related pit stop. To two locations. I need to buy some torches. Just another endgame ninja thing that you've got to do, which is stock up on torches. Yes. Inventory buy item. Actually. Mugger gem. That's cool. I think that can make your uh, thievery even higher. Don't need it, but fun. Alright, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to accept the fact that we're screwed because we don't have enough torches, okay? So I'm going to use this well, no, wait, 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 wait. Let's, let's give this back to her, and then let's very carefully give this to him and remove this, equip this, and use this on her and charge this up. Okay, now I'm going to item, use this, right, 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 equip and use it on him and duplicate this and then i'm going to go in here and i'm just i'm just taking a little little stroll everyone and making torches something i should have done a long time ago but i'm impatient i thought this would be no problem and it's turned out to be the biggest pain in the ass so let's get through this game let's actually beat this damn game um and not drag it out any longer because i'm ninjas and i can't have torches or make torches i should say all right one more, and that gives us five. And I feel comfortable that five is at least enough to make some progress. Okay. Let's put everybody's stuff back on. Equip that. Equip that. Oh, the recharging thing broke. Good thing I have another one. And remove this and equip this. Actually, <laughs> speaking of that, let's just use this on whoever has the recharging item. got it. I'm actually surprised that that worked. Where's the recharging thing? What? I don't have any more recharging? I thought I had two items of recharging. Am I... Here it is. She's wearing it. Okay. Phew. I was just about to completely lose my feces about that. Okay. Duplicate. All right. Alright, now we're back back in this just prime spot. The sweet spot of life. Electric life wand of duplication. I'm actually going to identify this really fast because there's a good chance that this item is better than what I think. It gives you 10 hit points and 20 electricity resistance. And this gives you what? 4 armor? Oh, wait. There'll be definite places where this is worth it. If that was like 50 hit points, I'd think about it. 10 is just not quite enough for me. Alright. Let's leave Swamp Town. Let's say goodbye, Swamp Town. And we're going to save it so that in case we fall into some hilarious quicksand, we don't have to just completely lose our progress. That we just will, we can laugh about it. Oof. The thing is, I have enough money to pay that guy, 
but I don't remember if you need to do all of that in one go. Like, if you need to do all of that stuff in one day, and if you don't, it resets or something. Oh, you know what? No, I tried to come here, and I didn't have the key. That's what it was. Okay, so I need to get the key for the maze from hell. Um... gold master key. Well, guess what? I know who has that. And it's my very good friend. There's some quicksand. It's either Lord Bruno or the Raven who is at Blistering Heights. And so I just need to go back to Blistering Heights and get all the stuff off of them. I gave, like, all of the holographic sequencing cards to them because I didn't think that you know right now I would need them which is actually correct it's just oops 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 this is not where I meant to go that was embarrassing yeah they can't even train me here they're like you are so unbelievably beautiful that we can't do anything with you I understand Happens a lot. But anyway. Let me go here, go over to Red Hot, see how everybody's doing. I'm actually, when I get into Red Hot, I'm going to check and see if, oh, I don't know. Um, they've got any kind of good items to acquire. So, let's check the shop and see what's going down with any branded items, like if they have any s items that have a good spell on them. Not really. And by not really, I mean not at all. Okay, that's fine. The bottom two slots in all of the stores um, contain randomly generated items, and so you can get something with magical properties there. Just not me. Hey, fading. Hello. Um, I need to check these guys' inventory, so I'm going to just uh, temporarily dismiss Phineas, and then I'm going to um, hire the raven and look in his bag. Do you have the key? No. All right. So I'm going to quickly remove the raven, and it's I gave it to Lord Bruno, didn't I? Hey, Bruni, can I have my gold master key back, please? So I have hologram sequencing card three and four. Uh, I'll take the golden pyramid key card as well as the gold master key. Yeah, thank you. Oh, good lord. Hey, he had torches on him too. Oh, that's right. Because way back in the day, I was in a spot where I had that light ring. I hadn't completely effed up the only... Well, I shouldn't say only, but one of the best things that's happened to me. Alright, so now let's remove Lord Bruni. Let's get Phineas back in the mix, and let's get out of here. So now I've got seven torches, which is an all-time high. A glorious moment for me. And I'm going to check. And I'm going to... Actually, you know what? Sorry, everybody. Sorry about this. I need to... <laughs> I need to thin out my inventory just a little bit more. So let me... So I'm just messing with Phineas's mind. I'm going to bring the Raven in. And I'm going to go into Alan Bow's inventory. I don't need the Black Terror key anymore. I don't need the Blue Unholy key anymore. I don't need an Orb of Raising the Dead for the moment or a Ring of Sanctuaries. I don't need all of these rope and hooks Platinum gauntlets, nope. Power belt, nope. Uh, the torches will do fine with. All right, and then anybody else have anything that we just don't need at the moment? Um, I'm going to give everything to Alan Bow to thin out your stuff. Torch, that goes to the bowman. Torch goes to the boaster. Okay, okay, good. All right. So now we will remove the raven, we'll get Phineas back, and 
Shoo, finally we're in a position to actually go to the maze from hell. Boom, 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 boom. What time of day is it? It's 8 a.m.? Well, let's get fire resistance then while we're here and walk over to the temple and get all the buffs before we go into the maze from hell. Hmm. There's a place in this game you can go once you have donated it all of the temples. I haven't quite been there yet, but uh, since I've donated everywhere, but I don't remember how significant the reward is. I'll have to look that up in the old FAQ. I need to go to Swamp Town, and I need to, oh, I don't know clear out this maze. Alright, so we need to save the game just in case we tumble into any of our favorite quicksand. Okay. So, I'm going to go over here, and I'm just going to kind of gallantly stroll. Save it. Oh, we're so close. And we found some quicksand. Load it. I no longer have an item of levitation, so, you know, that's what happens. That's number wang. All right, we're so close. I'm gonna save it because I'm feeling just terrible about the quicksand potential here. I'm gonna save it. Come on, get me inside. No, not right now. Yes. <laughs> right there. Oh, we were one square away and it was quicksand. Is that supposed to be reasonable? Because it's not. Alright. So let's go around. Let's take the long way. Kill this guy. Finally, we can go in. The maze from hell. Now, these minotaurs are really, really challenging, so hopefully they don't beat the bejesus out of me. Look. Look, come on. Alright. So we're in. We've used a torch. Here we are. Let's go. Sure, I'll open it. Well, that's just a straight eradication with no treasure. Seems like a game load to me. Thanks for that. This game is so brutal. It's just like, no indication, no nothing, you're dead. It's even worse than the exploding chests, too. Whoa, whoa, this guy just hit me in a shot. Oh yeah, can't hit him. That's right, that's what makes these guys hard, is you can't hit them. Well. That wasn't good. Hmm. What am I going to do about that? Hmm? Yeah, you're right. You think, like, ninjas would be good at number one, dodging attacks, and number two, fighting in melee, but apparently not. So, this is a required dungeon for beating the game. So, given that, what am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to make the best of this? Um, I was noticing earlier that I have some people who are tremendously old. Like, Quiet Riot is 61. She's been raised 35 years um, above her station, and that's bad. Very bad. So...
Yeah, it is sweet, the little birthday icon. It's just like, take a bite. Okay. 66 is the distinguished Lady Green. Makes sense. You know. So anyway, um, that's bad. Let's see what spells actually work on this guy. Alright, so I've got um, my ebony scale of fireballs, right? Do I have any other items that I feel would be powerful enough to want to use on this guy? Okay. Not really. I'll check this scale armor of fireballs and see didn't seem to work. Um, and it broke. Okay. Well, let's see. Nope, 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 nope. That didn't work. That was zero hits landed. All right, so the good thing to know about that outcome is that uh, we don't stand a chance in this place. Okay. So there might be have to be an alternative strategy that comes into play here, which is... Uh, I'm just going to... All I have to do in this place is drink from the center fountain, and it makes you, uh, like, the ultimate warrior or whatever. And if you become the ultimate warrior, then it allows you to... Or the ultimate adventurer or whatever. It allows you to actually access some places that you have to to beat the game. So I wonder if there's an argument to be made for just teleporting to the fountain and teleporting out. Okay. So let me look at the map. Let me see where I come in and try to figure that out for a second. Alright. Um. Okay. So here's where I am. Let's move over here. It's a zigzag when you get in. Okay, looking down a corridor of keys. Um, I think I see where I am. So, okay, then I'm going to skip this. and I'm going to go here. I'm not going to open the chest. And I'm just going to use my etherealization. Oh, okay, you can't pass through a, a solid wall. Neon orange, green arm ties. Well, I gotta do something to get through this maze. Oh, you mean the ultimate warrior from the days of yore. Yes, yes. Mullets everywhere. Okay, so... Not exactly what I wanted, but I do have an item of teleportation. So I might just have to cheat. Oh, and I duplicated this, so we've got kind of like two of these going. All right, so you take off your armor and just use this, and let's go two squares up. Okay, now let me look at the map, step up one more time to see where I am. I'm going to teleport three squares up. Stepping on those uh, whirlpools, by the way, will, I think, shoot you to some other part of the maze and just makes things really, really annoying. Wow, that had one charge on it? Maybe when you duplicate something, it, it only comes back with one charge. That seems to be the case. So then I have to be very careful with this, and what I'm going to do is um, use this on your item of teleportation that already has 10 charges on it, and I'm going to use this and go th uh, 
let me count the squares here. One, two, three, four is good. Okay. Uh-oh. There he is. Okay. So he's there. Let me look at the old mappy. I think, actually, if I go like this, and I teleport one, two, three, four, then I can just get out of this guy's area. Eight, use four. Yeah, okay, and so I'm here, and then we're gonna just, oh no, um, I need to teleport again, one, two, three squares up. This is fun, all right, well, at least we're not dying instantly. There it is, the fountain. The statue of Watermain, fabled ruler of the great sea. A plate reads, Drink deep from the waters of courage and become an ultimate adventurer. Will the party drink? Yep. We are ultimate adventurers. Not ultimate warriors. That would be too good. Um, where is it? Ultimate adventurer. Sweet. Alright, um, that's all we needed. So I'm going to step on one of these, like, teleport men. Actually, I'm going to save it. Where does it put me? I wish I could take out the Minotaur. It doesn't, like, give you any experience or anything. It's just a little accolade that, you know... It's just a vanity title. Uh-oh. Oh my god. Well, Medusa turned me to stone. That's a delight. Alright, if I can... I wonder if I can get enough information from the map at some point to figure out where I am so I can just teleport the hell out of here. Let me look at this. I see... Just a big E. Does that help me? If this map can rotate, I'm ruined. If it can't... Hmm. I may also be ruined. Alright, let's... Just, oh no. Oh no. We're going to just teleport me. Oh, okay. Well, it didn't actually destroy my map. I thought it cleared my map, but it didn't do that. Seemed like something a maze would do. Okay, that's a whirlpool there. Oh no, it's a freaking minotaur. Oh my god. Okay. Um... All right, that didn't work. Wow, we have an obsidian ring. I don't know where we got that, but that's cool. All right, let's look and see if there's anybody that has anything that would do anything for us. Um, I think this spell... Your backpack's full, huh? All right, pass this on might help us uh, distortion I don't know I'll try it alright so I'll go back out and I'm gonna use his distortion thing hey it like warped me back to the entrance jackpot best possible outcome alright let's get the hell out of here well, no, wait, let's save it first. Sometimes there's a Minotaur outside here, um, and that would be really bad. Okay, so we know there's quicksand. We have to go this way to not get sanded. Quicksand wipes the party at this point, so let's try to, you know, avoid that. All right, if I can just get back to this, I should be 
safe at the Tomb of Terror. Yay! Okay. Now that's a delight. That's a real delight. Alright, so let's go back to the temple. And let's heal everybody up. Heal, 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 heal. You're not stoned anymore. I kind of want to leave my hireling stoned because it's hilarious. They look better than a tombstone to be just stone people. I mean, in all fairness. Okay. So, at this point, um, what I'm going to do is take a moment. I'm going to, you know, look at the... So, I got this obsidian ring, which is really good. I'll give this back to you. Who got the obsidian ring? We'll give this to you. Um, hmm. Who got that? Where did I give that to? Did I give it to you? You? Where did I throw the... Here it is, okay. So somebody needs the Obsidian Ring. I think it's Fat Shadow who has the worst armor class. Who has the worst AC? Yeah, Fat Shadow by a mile. All right, so get in here. Oh, your armor's also broken. Well, whatever. Now you have really good armor class. Okay, so I'm going to rest, and I'm going to go to the shop, which is around this corner. I'm gonna check really quickly to see if they have anything good. Feeble minding, nope. Speed brooch isn't bad, but inventory space is just such a premium that I can't count on that. So I'm going to leave, and I'm going to go to inventory, and I'm going to fix all my broken stuff. Just so I don't forget to do that next time I boot this up. Mm-hmm. 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 Joy. Joy. Okay. Okay. Um, now, I'm going to save the game, and I'm going to switch games right now and start playing some Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. 